Good morning. Well, we're out on St. Joe River again, and uh, we had a little surprise this morning when we pulled up to the launch. And uh, my old man and my brother uh, decided to launch this morning as well. So I thought we'd have some fun with them, and we're going to have a little competition today. In fact, here they are right now. So the question really is, should I high wake them or not? You know, it is a competition and all's fair. You know, I'll be nice to them. I decided I was gonna be nice. <laughs> Any last words before the tournament starts? Any last words before this tournament starts? Good luck. <laughs> All right. <laughs> SV. I asked the guy for the best side imaging he has, and uh, I gotta tell you, I don't think he did me wrong. Uh, because you can see, we're marking the fish really easy. You know, I had a hummingbird. I had a hummingbird side imaging, and maybe it was just the size of the screen, but it was nothing. Nothing compared to this thing. This thing is pretty amazing. You can really see the detail on the fish, everything. All right, enough about that, let's fish. waste today because current is pretty good. Sorry to have peace. Finally hooked up. Three, four, five hours, whatever we are. This dude knows how to use the current. He ripped drag when he hit it. I don't think he's that big. Just think that he's aggressive. He knows how to use the current. Good fight.
It's not bad. Acting like a channel. Let's get in that motor. It's just amazing me how these fish swim up river with ease and his currents. Alright, what do we got here? Yeah, decent channel. It's a netter. It's a netter. Been a while since I caught a good channel higher. Oh, now I got a double. Oh. All right, let's get the net. This guy. We're gonna make a fishing video because now we got a fish. Uh, maybe. Do we do? Now we do. Now we do. Chunker of a channel. That'll work. That will work. I think we got another one on over here. All right, we got one in the boat. that good either. Came around and hooked himself. Whisker hooked. That was on a headpiece. Good old headpiece. All right. Let's get a weight on this guy. You know how good I am at guessing weights. <laughs> so I'm gonna say this guy is 8.4 pounds. Got her zeroed. Says. No cheating. Oh, we got another fish on. All right, so we are seven pounds, eleven ounces. Let's get him out. There we go. Let's reel this other fish in. Feast or famine, I guess, out here. One minute, I'm, I'm catching anything for five hours, and all of a sudden, double. channel. Let me boat put this one. No, nah, you ate that big old bait, little guy. These are little guys that'll get you, too. There we go. All right. Now we got weight on the other one, seven pounds, 11 ounces. Messing with eight. I'm gonna weigh this guy. A little bit smaller, and this guy would be bait. Here we go. Double. Sweet. Well, that was fun. Let's uh, get rebaited and get back out there. See what else we can do. Well, I haven't talked a whole lot about my new boat. Um, I'll do a video just about the boat, but we'll tell you one of the buying features for me. Is this bad boy. This boat is so industrial. Got a little spray down hose. That catfish I just caught and all the bait I got laying out here. Spray my deck down and it's got these little ports down here at the bottom. All your water goes down into your next hits the boat. Super nice.
All right, I don't know well you can see this, but I'm going to kind of show you what I'm doing to find these catfish. Today's a good example of a really slow day, tough fishing. Fished four or five hours this morning with two little nibbles, bouncing around a lot. Um, but I did this last night, and uh, it seemed to work, so we're going to do it again. And uh, the spot I just had doubled up at, this was a program I did. So with this Garmin, again, it's a Garmin 1243 XSV. Uh, I asked for the best side scan I can get, and this is side view, clear view, I believe it's called. I don't know, you guys that know this stuff better than I do. Probably tell me what this is, but the long and short is, is I'm using this full screen side view, and I'm not necessarily able to pick out, okay, that's catfish, that's catfish, but what I am doing is I'm finding a lot of fish. So where I'm finding a lot of fish congregating, I'm setting up on, and I've been pulling a catfish here and there out of it. So, kind of show you how I'm doing this. I've got the range set at 60 feet. So for those hunters out there like me, that's uh, uh, 20 yards. So you look at the bank, you want to be about 20 yards away from it to give you a good view. So right here, we either have structure or fish down there. See the shadow it's casting. A lot of bay fish here. And I'm just trying to get a general idea of where these fish are congregating because I think the current and the eddies and the stuff you can't see on the surface is, is what's determining where these fish are at. So right now I've got quite a bit here, quite a bit of rocks, debris, and a lot of bait fish, smaller fish within this section right underneath the boat. And you can't see it, but up ahead of me is a large current seam. So that current seam seems to be holding them. So what I'm going to do, because that looks so good, is I'm going to set up right on the front side of this current seam and I'm going to put my baits right through here. Now some of these may be catfish, some of these may not. That I think for sure is a catfish sitting on the front side of this little hump. Um, but this is amazing. I mean, look how clear this picture is. The hummingbird that I had is nowhere near this clear. I mean, it's almost like cheating. So I'm gonna set right up on the front side of this current seam. Let's see if I can get this boat positioned. I did opt to go with the river anchor, 75 pound anchor with the river winch. I think it's called peer pressure winch. And uh, let me tell you, wherever I put it down, that's where I stop. Still messing around. Few, few boulders at the bottom here. These aren't fish, these are just boulders or logs. Wait till this catches here. Like I said, wherever you put this down, it just boom, holds you. So I'm gonna turn my motor a little bit so I can get the, the butt end of this boat over here closer to this current seam. And you see what I'm talking about. So this log jam right here has stopped the current and created this current seam that goes all the way down here. And that's where we're marking all those fish is right through there. So we're gonna put our baits. Right on this current seam. That's a flathead. It's a bunk. And a slow go down. Not bad flathead either, really. Oh, he was wrapped up his legs. Come on, so easy. Sweet. Choked it down. He choked it down. Yeah, this is fine now. Does not look that good. Uh, chunker. Got him. 
Well, I almost make a fishing video now. Well, it's day two, July 9th, 10th. Today's July 10th. Uh, we're back out on the St. Joe River, and we were chasing some catfish. We decided to switch things up. We went from Red Bud. A little slow action yesterday. It was uh, cold in the morning. Cold front might did something to them, but uh, we're headed out to Berrien now. So we're out at Berrien Springs today. Uh, water's up, we had rain. Water temperature is 74.5 degrees. Air temperature is probably mid 70s right now. It's supposed to warm up to low of, or high of low 80s. Words are hard this morning. So we're gonna head out here and uh, see what happens. Hit these holes and uh, with the water up, hopefully we get some action. Uh, bait's a little limited today, so I brought some rods in case we need to get some more bait. Uh, but we'll see how we do. So get set up and uh, see what happens. All right, we got our boat essentials. We got rock stars and apple and cherry pies. Let's turn this on. The sun is an ideal for this. So here's our first spot. We're definitely running four ounce weights today. That much. It is ripping today, which is good. Kind of like that. It's good for big channel cats. Not so much for big flatheads. First volunteer, second volunteer. That one's a mix. We're well, gonna catch these every day. <coughs> Get size of that gar. Have to net this one. I sure ain't lifting it. Uh, let's see, these are really notoriously hard to net. That was cool. That was cool. Got him. Look at the size of this gar. Yeah, that was just... Well, we know it's been eating my bait. see me. This long nose gar. Here we go. Let's let him go. We got a real one on. Finally get some ground back. Man, this fish is pulling ass in its current. fish took a lot of line well, I don't know what we got here but he's on me let's see if I can get any business right now Man, waiting all day for his fish. All right, that's a nice one. That's a nice one. Oh yeah, we got your 
bio channel. Is that a dogfish? A giant bowfin. Well, that's different. That's different. If I've ever caught a bowfin. Man. I don't know if this fish is on it, mean, that's for sure. No, that's a channel. It's a big one. Big one. It's a weird looking channel. Oh, missed him. Oh, missed him. Got him that time. Nice channel. That'll work. Waiting all day for this fish. <laughs> Bowfin. <laughs> That's funny. I guess he's probably 12 or 13 pounds. Let's see. Of course I'm off. Nine pounds, four ounces. All right. Beautiful. Nice fight. Nice fish. Small mouth on this fish. Really small mouth. All right. Let her go. There she goes. Good fight. That was fun. Let's get another one. Little bonus fish. Oh, walleye. Why don't you look at that? Little walleye. Huh. That's very cool. Be careful of these. These things will get you. Feel free. Heck yeah. See you, buddy. Ball of night crawlers. Three way rig. Huh. That'll work. Well, kids, I think that's going to wrap it up for me today and this weekend. I can't all be barn busters. can't all be 30 pounders, but uh, hey, any day on the river is a good day in my opinion. So, till next time. <laughs>